Good evening crafty friends, it's Diane with Bean Street Paper and tonight I'm going to show you how to make these adorable Merry Christmas gift tags using the Stampin' Up! Merry Moose stamp set and punch. I liked <clears throat> the rustic look of these gift tags so without further ado, I'm going to show you how to make them just like this. And then if you wanted to further embellish them, you could do that. If you could make them fancier, you could put a little bow, you could put a little jingle bell on there. I just, I wanted very rustic looking gift tags for my packages this year. So this is what I came up with. You're going to have to find a light colored cardstock for the background. Now you could use a solid color. I preferred this plaid, the buffalo plaid. Um, unfortunately, the paper pack that I got this from was a Michaels hot buy pad for Christmas this year. It's like Christmas plaid. Um, and this was the only light colored one they had. So, I had to move on through my stash and find a new pattern. Now I will say I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, however, I love all craft su supplies, it doesn't matter what brand they are, so I am using the Stampin' Up! stamp set and punch bundle, but I am using other craft supplies that I had in my stash. So without further ado, we're going to get started. Um, you're going to need your Merry Moose stamp set and punch bundle, a pair of scissors, a hole punch, I'm just going to use my crop dial because that's what was handy. Um, they're polymer stamps so you're going to need a stamp block. You'll need a green a black and a red stamp set pad, sorry, some dimensionals. Now I am using this cardstock, is Stampin' Up! cardstock. It is a retired color called Close to Coco. I believe the current color that's close to this is called Early Espresso. So, you could use Early Espresso or you could use whatever brown, moose colored cardstock that you have on hand. And then I'm going to use this Hot by Paper Pad Christmas Cabin. It's from last year at Michael's. But <clears throat> it does have some lighter colored. cardstock in it that you'll be able to see the moose and the stamp show up very well. Um, I liked this, oops, sorry about that. I liked this uh, sweatery, it looks like a sweater one. The wood one would be great. Ooh, these would be cute. I think I'm going to go with I think I'm going to go with this wood pattern one. Although I do like this sweater. I might use that for something else. So, this is the cardstock that I've chosen. You are going to need I'm going to do this the easy way because I happen to have this huge tag punch. However, if you do not have this and you have a silhouette or a Cricut, you can cut the tags with your electronic cutting machine or you can simply cut this paper in rectangles and just make a rectangular tag. It doesn't have to have the scallop top like that. It could just be a rectangle. 
maybe round the corners. So I'm going to really quickly just punch out five or six of these. And we're going to get on with this. Okay. I'm going to stop there because that's enough to show you the basic process. Alright, so I've got my tags. Now, I am going to get my stamp set and my block and the first thing I'm going to do is take the larger of the two trees and my green stamp pad And I'm going to stamp those. Oh. Whoop! Oh, I'm getting dirty. Crafting isn't fun if you don't get dirty, right? I'm going to stamp this to the left side of my tag, towards the bottom. This guy's not dark enough for me, so we're just going to put him aside. All right. So we're done with our stamping of trees. Alright, so now I'm going to take my baby wipe and clean off my stamp before I put it away. Unfortunately, it stays on stains, but there is extra on there that you can get off. <clears throat> I'll put him back. set these guys aside for a minute. No, I'm not. I'm going to take my red stamp pad and the sentiment that says Merry Christmas and I'm going to do that I'm going to test it on this tag that I threw out to see. Okay. Now I'm going to ink it up and stamp it on my, my tags. Just in the upper right hand corner. Stamp that. One more. Oop. 
All right. Let me clean my stamp off and my little block. And now, now I'm going to take my mousse outline. There's two. There's a there's a there's a solid mousse and there's an outline. Now, if you don't have brown cardstock, you can take the, the solid one and stamp him in brown and then outline him in um, the outline. Now, that's going to be kind of hard to do if you don't have a stamping platform, but with a little bit of patience, it can be done. Okay. I am now going to take my brown close to cocoa cardstock. Again, this is a retired color from Stampin' Up. Um, I have so much Stampin' Up cardstock in my stash. And now that I'm a demonstrator, I'm going to have all the new colors. So that's exciting. I'm excited about that. My husband maybe not so much, but what can you do? I'm going to take my Memento Tuxedo Black stamp pad and I'm going to ink up my mousse. And I'm going to stamp him, not quite to the edge of the page, because you need to kind of center the punch on him. So I'm just going to stamp him three times. Two. Super cute, isn't he? I'm going to clean him off again. Okay, so now you're done stamping. All your stamping is done. You can put your mousse away and your block. Okay, now you're going to take your mousse punch. This is available in a bundle in the Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog, and I'll link that below. Open him up. You simply push the lever up, and he opens up like that. And you're going to line him up with your mousse. This is a little trick me tricky. It took me a minute to get him just the way I want him. One. Cut off his nose there. Three. Okay. So I've got my three moose, and I'm going to lock my punch back together and bring back my tags. Okay. So now I'm going to take my dimensionals, and uh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to take my tags and marry them all up. And then I'm going to take my crocodile and punch a hole right in the middle. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to take my dimensionals and I'm going to cross the back of my moose. Mooses? Meese? I don't know. I'm going to take three. All right, turn these guys around. Whew. 
peel off my backing. And I'm going to put my moose, I'm going to center him, but I want him to be kind of even with the tree so he's not like floating in the middle of the tree or floating down here and the tree's floating. So I want his feet to be kind of on the level of the tree. three of these. Now, if you wanted to, I'm just going to press them down. This moose stamp set, <laughs> he comes with a little Christmas Santa hat. So if you wanted to put the Santa hat on him, that would be super, 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 super cute. He also has a scarf. That's super, super, super cute. So. And like I said, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I do absolutely love Stampin' Up! products. But I crafted for 20 years before I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I have a lot of stash. So I, I mix and match. All right, so all my moose are attached to their, gift, their tags. Now, I, again, like I said, I wanted a rustic uh, look. So I just went with this bakery twine that I have. Again, super stash that I have. I like to cut mine probably about eight inches. So I'm just going to cut three of those. And thread it through. And now you have these super cute, rustic looking moose gift tags. They would be adorable on any package. Um, and it's just a quick, quick project. So thanks for joining me tonight. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos. And I hope you all have a wonderful crafty evening. Good night.